I know these people have a really intense following, so I'm fully expecting to get attacked in the comments for this one. I do want to say, compared to the people that I've covered here so far, the content that these people are posting is relatively tame. There's no tantrums, there's no crying, there's no private moments. However, it is the very obsessive environment surrounding their toddler that is very strange, concerning honestly. Their TikTok account has over six and a half million followers right now. By the time I post this, it's probably way more. They're also on Instagram and YouTube, but TikTok is their platform where they thrive. And it is 99% videos of their toddler. He is the breadwinner of the family and you cannot convince me otherwise. Obviously there are a ton of accounts like this where it's the kids that are bringing in the views. These parents are not the first, unfortunately, to completely overexpose their child on the internet. Here's a couple clips just to show you the type of content that they post. I mean, and just to give you an idea of who they are, it's just a lot of cute clips of the kid. Some may argue scripted. Hi guys. Oh All right guys, we're back and we have mini brand. Do you see that airplane up oh. there? So far away, oh, it's a guy. Oh, special something. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Hi guys. The fact that he knows how to say hi guys to the camera is interesting. Like overall relatively harmless content, right? But I wouldn't be making this video if it truly was harmless. These guys really stand out to me out of all the family vloggers that I've seen because their fan base is the weirdest group of people that I've ever seen. I can't even describe in my own words how creepy their fan base is. I just need to redo some of these comments so that you can feel the level of discomfort I felt the first time I read them. I'll refer to this child as R, the letter R. Uh, these comments are taken from both the parents' videos and fan pages. Yes, this child has fan pages. We'll get into that later. I'm just gonna look down at my screen because there's so many. We'll start out pretty tame, okay? So on like any given video, you will find this comment from someone. Rule number one, never skip a R video. And usually there's a few comments about how he is responsible for their serotonin and he's their therapy for the day. R equals my therapy. Oh, it's R, my happy pill. I need a daily dose of R, just like stuff like that. Like we're not fully crossing the line yet, but this is a toddler that you don't personally know. So it's a little bit weird. And then we get a little bit more specific. I'm so thankful that you are the mother of the sweetest creature ever. Thanks for bringing him to the live. He's also part of our lives. Just notice that R has really grown. He's becoming a human now and it's making me kind of sad. You need to upload two videos a day. Some of us can't live without him. Okay, we're getting, we're getting weirder. We can see the sense of entitlement to a toddler's life coming through. I would die for him. He's so cute, bless him. This is not baby fever anymore, it's R fever. And the mom replied to that one, yes, literally. I have fallen so in love with R, he is so special. Oh yeah, Tracy. Tracy, I hope your children don't read this one. I'm a mom of three and a grand to seven, and I can honestly say you have the best and sweetest little man ever. My babies were never this cute. Real cool, Tracy. This family is the most beautiful thing. I'm obsessed with how adorable R looks in the videos. R, if you see this, I just want you to know that I deeply love you. So they're a bit intense, but is it worth talking about at this point? Not really. Um, we get into the dreams. I see him in my dreams now. I'm so obsessed. Today I saw him in the dream. I was playing with him. Not in real, but I met him. Love you so much, R. Getting weirder. Everyone just wants to meet him. Uh, someone posted a video, they met them at like Disney World or something and everyone was losing their minds. They were so jealous. What I would give to spend a day with R. Dream to meet him. One day with him and my life problems will disappear. Okay. Not only meet him, but we want to babysit him. Why is R so cute? Can I babysit him? I want to be R's babysitter. I will pay you to babysit him. I don't even care if we're not in the same country. He's so cute. I will pay you money. I will take an international flight to be alone with your child. <laughs> I mean, joking or not, like, it's weird to say. If that's not enough for you, they get weirder. Just wait. Personally, I would not be able to sleep at night if I had millions of people talking about my toddler this way. Knowing that I'm the one responsible for fueling this fire day after day, this obsession and like people can have whatever profile picture they want it doesn't have to be them how do you know who's actually saying this how do you know what their intentions are you're just gonna hope that every one of your six and a half million followers is a good person they can appear to be a teenage girl to appear less harmful and women can be predators too so are you ready it's like for me, R is my nephew or little cousin. It's like we have always known each other. We're almost family. I'm sorry, I can't stop seeing R videos. He's 
so cute. Some of these are probably kids, but a lot of these are definitely grown people. Never skipping our video at this point, I feel like an aunt. No, because he's literally my baby. Their baby, our baby. I want him so bad. He is my expectation of babies. I'm so jealous. I want one. R is a baby that everyone dreams of having. It's either they give me R or they'll adopt me. Please, I love him. Can I steal him? He's so freaking cute. Can I pay y'all to make me R? Mine cannot possibly be this cute. How do I adopt this baby? Please tell me. R, will you marry me, baby? Will you marry me? I also had a screenshot that I lost somehow. It said, I will wait 20 years for you. Believe me, don't believe me. It's not that hard to believe. <laughs> I love R so much, I wish I could get a hug from him. I love him too, I want to hug him and cuddle with him. The urge to reach through the screen and hold baby R grows with every video, I swear to God. So the urge to reach through the screen is gonna turn into the urge to show up at their house. It physically pains me that I can't give R a hug and forehead kiss. I love this child very much. Please, if I ever get a chance, I will definitely meet him, hold him in my arms, and have a lot of fun with him. Like, who says that? Every time I see R, I want to have him. I want to play with him. I want to dress him up like a girl. I want to hear him all the time. I want to eat his cheeks. Sorry, not sorry. And then someone replies, OMG, the amount of similarities we have. <laughs> like, just some similarities. Imagine a stranger saying these to your face. We do have some self-awareness in the chat. I am literally obsessed with this tiny cute man. It's so unhealthy at this point and I just can't do anything about it. Step one is admitting the problem. How can I love a stranger's baby whom I've never even met so much? See, this is what I'm asking. This is what I don't understand. Why this baby? Why is everyone latched onto this baby so much? He's cute, for sure, but there's a lot of cute babies out there. I don't think it's normal to be as obsessed as I am with someone else's kid. He's so cute. I can confirm this to be true, yep. Okay, and here's a few that really stood out to me. I have him as my wallpaper. Think about a random person having your toddler as their phone wallpaper, so they're seeing it probably like hundreds of times a day. Weird. R will definitely be my future son-in-law. He will definitely marry your child, yep. Definitely. Please don't ever take R away from us. We will fight for custody, lol. Let us see him grow old. And see, that's what I'm wondering. Like, does this obsession grow with this child or do they eventually get bored when he grows up? Like, it's so weird. The sense of entitlement is crazy. Something physically hurts inside of me whenever I hear this child speak or see him smile. Like, the comments can never just be, oh, cute kid. It, they're always just doing the most. I'm already so attached to this baby. A huge and incredible desire to follow his life constantly. How charming he will grow up. You have no idea who's saying this. How far are they gonna take that huge desire to see him grow up? So this is the worst comment that I saw. And yes, I did report it. It has 300 likes, by the way. And it says, making a kidnapping plan. Anyone want to join? And there's all these people replying, me, let's do it. I also want to join because I have our fever, me. So what, you just gotta like hope these people are joking? Hundreds of people? That's just what they're willing to post too. They're not embarrassed about this. That's just the crazy part. So these are the people that are dumb enough to comment it too. There's probably tons of people watching this, having the same thoughts, but keeping them to themselves and doing whatever they do. And these comments are normal for them. I don't know if you can tell from the screenshot, but it's from different platforms. These are on all their videos. These are on every fan page. It's not just one video that kind of went rogue and got on the wrong side of TikTok. Every single video they post has these obsessive comments all over them. So yes, the fan pages. So taking it even further, this kid has hundreds of fan pages, each one having like hundreds of followers to hundreds of thousands of followers. A toddler has fan pages. This is to give you an example of the type of videos that they're posting. So you want kids? No, I want one kid. Only this one, please. Thank you. So they'll like mash up different clips of them. They'll combine them with other internet babies. Um, they say, oh, these guys should be best friends or these ones should get married or they rank them. They're like top five cutest internet babies. And if this one's not on the top five, then people in the comments are like, you missed him, you missed him. He's gotta be number one. It's so freaking weird. And then when there's this many people reposting your content, you've officially lost control of your child's digital footprint. 
it's not in your hands anymore. So if you ever are like, hey, I actually want to keep my kid private. I want to give him some privacy while he's growing up. Uh, it's too late. You can't do that. And people are free to comment whatever they want on these videos, as you've seen, and you have just zero control. There's this whole creepy obsessive conversation going over here about your kid and it's out of your hands. It's like everyone in the comments is trying to outdo each other with who can say the most insane thing. They're just egging each other on and it's like a game of who can come up with the wildest comment. And all of this is going on before your child can even speak in full sentences. He has no say in his own digital footprint and he never will now. This comment was on a video of people ranking their favorite internet babies and this kid wasn't on the list and they're like, you did not just miss baby R. No, no, hell no. He's the best. He's the love of my life. He's a cutie pie. He's basically carrying TikTok. He is so cute and always happy and what the heck? You didn't post him to this? Let's be friends and talk about R. R is the internet most lovable baby. He has many fan pages and I really want their parents to see all the pages love from India. Fan pages are not a good thing when it's like a toddler. I've even seen like random videos in the wild. Like there was this video of a mom talking about like people think their baby's the cutest in the world. I'll show you. Do any other moms look at their baby and they're like, as a mom, you are the most beautiful baby in the world. But as a parent, you're just an average looking baby. And then the top comment on that video is, unfortunately, R is the cutest baby in the world. So everywhere, everywhere there's a mention of cute babies. They're always watching. Nobody is safe. People will comment and ask to see videos of him crying. Can you film R crying? 120 likes. Is there any video or edit where cutie R is crying? Like we really want to see how cutie probably would be looking while crying. One of the fan pages like posted this teeniest, weirdest little snippet of him crying and people lost their minds. Anyone who's first time seeing R crying, this is my first time seeing R crying. Thousands of likes on the comments. Second time I see him crying. What? Why is he cute even when he's crying? Aw, oh, him crying makes me so sad. Oh my God, I just commented recently that I never saw him cry yet. Everyone's obsessed with him crying. Is it because he's always happy and they just can't picture him crying? I don't know, it's weird. Luckily for him, some of the pressure will soon be lifted to be the main performer of the family because they are having another baby. And that's kind of why they came back up on my radars because they had their pregnancy announcement video. It has like over 40 million views. So their audience is crazy obsessed with their current toddler and now they are equally obsessed with this new baby that's not even born yet. I've never seen an audience so dedicated. Like they literally have a cult following. I'll flash up some of these comments from the pregnancy announcement video. There's nothing like insane. It shows you just how much people are losing their minds. I feel like I'm the pregnant one because I'm so emotional over this. I'm so happy for you guys. R is going to be the best big brother. You really feel like you're the pregnant one? This is such big news. I don't know how I'm acting so chill about this because people you don't know are just pregnant. Their fans have made videos about their pregnancy too. Me after finding out that A, R's mom is pregnant. Also the fact that people wouldn't know the mom's name, so she had to clarify in brackets R's mom because people know him. It just shows you like how weird this all is. Like you are so obsessed with the idea of this child that you don't even know becoming a big brother so you like made your own video about it. Two million likes at the time that I screen recorded this one. Also, who's R? That should be what everyone says. <laughs> And in the comments, pretty sure it's a felony if you don't know him. Real, I have no one to talk about this. Like, R is going to be a big brother. There's going to be another person in their TikToks. We're going to get to see another perfect human grow up with the best parents. Why is, why don't I have anyone to talk to about this? I'm sobbing. I love them. I feel like I'm being an aunt again. Well, you're not being an aunt again. I found my tribe. Our nephew is going to be a big brother. OMG, our nephew. He's gonna be the best and sweetest brother ever. So excited for them. And a lot of these weirdos are likely harmless, but they've created this environment where it is accepted and even like encouraged for anyone, you don't know who they are, to act feral for your child. Try and find me one normal comment. They're all like, he's the cutest baby on the planet and it is a felony if you don't know him, you should rot in prison. And I'm gonna babysit him until he's old enough and then I'm gonna marry him. I'm like, okay, all right. And I've seen this mom mention a few times that she is nervous about the general public as she should be. The world is a scary place. I agree. Look at this video. So I used to think the scariest thing as a woman was going on walks by yourself. But since having my son, I've come to realize going on walks by yourself with your baby is definitely the scariest thing ever. I feel so vulnerable. Like if someone comes for me, I am protecting him at all costs. Yeah. 
but I feel like I'm just so on like not self-aware because I'm giving him all my attention like the irony of saying oh I'm so scared someone's gonna come and attack me while showing millions of people the neighborhood that you live in and admitting that you're not paying attention they're constantly filming outside of their house, in their neighborhood, around their town. They are just serving their location on a platter to people who aren't afraid to comment, joking or not, that they're making plans to kidnap your baby. To think that nobody watching your videos has bad intentions is very naive, especially when you have six and a half million. Like there's gotta be a few thousand at least. And it's one thing if it's just you and your husband, but no, you've got one and two, two kids to take care of. Like, would you not do anything to keep your kids safe? No amount of money can be worth that. You should honestly just move at this point. Okay, I had to laugh at this comment. Love how you and your husband cautiously, innocently, and lovingly post your child. Love to see a family vlogger channel not using their child for views, but just documenting their life. We're just sharing our life lovingly, showing our picnics at the park with our favorite products that you can get in the description box below when you click my link. At some point, this kid's gonna grow up and realize millions of people are obsessed, weirdly obsessed with him. Like, does it stop? Do they follow his whole life? And then as the account grows, the echo chamber of weird, creepy comments grows. People become entitled to your life. If anyone dare says anything in the comments that's even slightly negative, you will get, you will get attacked. That is if your comment can even stay up long enough before it gets deleted. Not to go there, but if this child was a girl and you had millions of people commenting that they are her virtual uncle and they would pay money to babysit her, that is definitely a double standard. Why is this fine? but that is creepy. I mean, it's all equally creepy. That's the point I'm trying to make. Okay, what else do we have? She has subscriber-only content on Instagram. You can pay like six or seven bucks a month for exclusive footage. This child is already absolutely everywhere, so I don't know why you would need to pay to see more never-before-seen footage. Okay, that is plenty for today. Like I said, I really hesitated making this video. I thought I might be overreacting at first, but the more you look at it, the weirder it gets. That's all I got. Bye.